Hey Virgo, it's Lulu. Well, all right, I'm going to do your January 2020 spiritual conversation. This is for Virgo. All right. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you. Again, I just stated in the last video, I'm going to state it here. I don't know how the lighting is, how this video going to look when it uploads. I don't know. It's late 30. Okay, baby? So, with it being late 30, you already know what's up if you've been here. If you ain't been here, welcome. I'm in a meditative state. I've been in an introspective state all day. Okay? Now, let's see what's going on with Virgo. Angels, what information do you have for my beautiful Virgos? Thank you. Whew. By the end of January, moving into February, okay, um, you may come to a space where you feel as though um, you haven't done enough of something. You might be overanalyzing a situation, so we're going to figure out what it is right here. Thank you, darling. Ooh. Mm. All right. So, moving into January, you may be feeling very loving. Hmm? You may be feeling like you you want to nurture certain situations. You want to um, be hailed, Virgo. Okay, it's right there. Some of you may be um, wanting and desiring the attention of some loving attention whatever that is to you sweetie i feel okay so this is what i feel like right here you are where you need to be when it comes to matters of the heart and this is a lot of um feeling very um like you're it's like doing a um you're observing love and what is love how does love work this way and this, that, and the other with love? And you don't want to communicate your feelings to someone or you don't want to communicate um, or someone will be communicating with you about their feelings towards you. I feel like some of you are going to fall in love fast, whatever that means to you. A lot of people say don't say fall in love because that means that you getting yourself into some shit and you seeing things with rose-colored glasses. I like them, rose-colored glasses. Now, but I do feel like you are seeing love or, um, yeah, you're seeing love from a different perspective. You uh, may have been attached to a certain way or a certain viewpoint of what love is based on whatever it is that you've experienced in your life, right? So you're seeing things differently. I also feel like you want to clear up some things um, with someone, but you're trying to take a more logical approach to it so that you won't um, look like a wuss. Whatever, look like a wuss sometimes. It's cool. Pick and choose your battles. Now, some of you have may not have been um, communicating with a female for a while, and now you want to. You want to um, clear things up with this person. But I also feel like there's something that may be revealed to you um, in conversation with fire sign, water sign, earth sign, whoever. Something will be cleared up between you and someone else. You will finally see things for what they are. You finally see someone... Um, for who they are, regardless of the mask that they've been trying to wear, or you're finally revealing exactly who you are and, and speaking your truth in a situation that may cause some type of conflict, or you feel that you are conflicted, but you want to speak this truth, right? You're in a space where you can free yourself from a situation, but it's on you on how you will free yourself. If you even want to free yourself, how do you go about that? Because you may be attached to uh, someone who has their idea of how things should go and how things should work out. Someone who is always, someone who is used to getting their way. Someone who is used to um, having their way. Someone who is used to um, being praised, right? Many of you are looking at, when it comes to matters of the heart, you are looking at... Um, you're looking at the truth in situations now because now you are seeing that there are certain things that you did receive in your life um, from others, but it wasn't real. It was about th their, them looking up to you or doing things in a certain manner just to appease you. And now you're seeing it for what it is and wanting to manifest something new. Even if you feel as though you don't have enough money, you don't have enough um, time, you don't have enough um 
help something like that now there may be a number of um people trying to get in your good graces they want you to be very mindful of um not putting emotion like out of the people that are trying to get in your good graces there's one person in particular who is used to having their way so they may be trying they may be feeling entitled maybe a water sign who is they feel entitled this woman came out in reverse Someone feels entitled. They feel as though you are the person for them or you are the person for the job and you, sh you should be um, doing things this way, that way, or what have you. Whoever this is, they have a lot of emotional work to do. They've been hurt in the past, and that's what pushed them into thinking that this they way or no way. It, I think it's a woman. Now then, some of you have a, uh, someone who is uh, prepared to fight for you, but it's going to be on you how you uh, move forward, right? What is this? There may be some issues with um, communication that needs to be cleared up um, physically. Maybe having issues with singing, issues with getting uh, your voice back. Because my voice was gone this morning. I must have been a Virgo this morning. Couldn't get my voice right. Yeah. Okay. So, this um, what you're going to realize is that any com issues that you're having with communication, for those this applies to, it has a lot to do with you not speaking your truth in a matter of um, being hurt or being um, left by someone else. So it's going to, you do the work and it'll clear up, maybe dealing with the Taurus. But overall, I also feel that you want to be mindful of how you speak. Some of you will be changing the way that you speak in the month, yeah, in the month of um, January. I also feel that... Um, you may have had mixed emotions in the past. You went through all the heartbreak. You see what part you played in it. Now you're ready to do the work and come out as someone totally different, do things from a, a totally different perspective with this attachment card, and she's able to release herself if she chooses to instead of being stuck in the past, instead of being stuck in the dark and um, old patterns of uh, behavior, um, old different like emotional beliefs that need to be released. Holding yourself into a commitment that is no longer serving you, right? Uh, failure to seek wise advice or listen to guidance that is coming in here. Uh, some of you may even be in a space of wanting to take charge of your life, take charge of your situation. Just really pick up and go here and manifest a new beginning because now you are in touch with your personal vision, how you want to do things, what it is that needs to be done and ready for the ride. But taking some time out to really pull back from situations that may have you... Um, Certain people that may you may have bit your tongue around, you're pulling back. Instead of saying something spiteful, you're pulling back. Instead of um, communicating, like some of you may not even want to. Uh, this is a lot of communication in the month of January. But some of you may not even want to um, put up a fight anymore here. Maybe deciding to go back to school or seek legal counsel or some type of uh, counseling here. Yeah collaborating with someone else in order for you to be successful in whatever it is that you are doing. This is a, a success in a collaborative effort, right? So I feel <clears throat> that you will decide to stand in your truth. <laughs> I was about to say it. You will decide to stand in your truth regardless of the outcome of other situations surrounding you. I feel as though um, you will begin to... Um, see that uh, success is not um, far-fetched after all in whatever it is that you want to attain because you do have the magician coming in as well it's important for you to know that like do your affirmations in the mirror in the mornings Virgo so that you can prepare yourself for the day because anyone that comes up against you that especially whoever that water sign is that want their way right um, anyone or anything that comes up against you you want to already be prepared right um, I really feel That you'll be very poised. I like how poised she is. You'll be very poised in your direction and how you want to accomplish what. And you will, um, this partnership that you have, possibly with another, someone of the same sex, whether you're a man or a woman, right? Um, it's going to yield beautiful results, but you also have to know that you are independent of others as well. So you take everything into account, different viewpoints, different directions that you could possibly go, um, different tasks that come um 
come up out of nowhere, know who to delegate and who to, who can help, who can't, um, what you will take on, what you won't. Because with this uh, collaboration that you have with this other person, you want to be mindful that you stand um, in your truth about certain situations because this could easily be someone that you've had a success um, in business with or a success in, it could be whatever it is, school, studying, or what have you. But you don't want them to be overbearing. So you need to set boundaries with this person. As long as you are doing the work, you will continue to get what it is that you want. So you reap the rewards of what it is that you are working towards. You do walk into the door of value, but we're going to sing it in a minute. We about to sing it. Um, I feel like um, this is beautiful um, completion of um, within this day. This is a completion and a wish fulfillment that is that is completion of things that are desired because of a collaborative effort, right? A reason to celebrate here. Some of you may, um, your friend that you thought was just your friend may do you like this. Like you celebrate, you know how you just be whoop, 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 and somebody just grab you out of nowhere. Like, um, I wasn't seeing you like that. And based on your nose breath, because the nose breath is a breath, it's, it's a different type of smell. I have been in love with it before I get out my business. Now, but they may um, out of nowhere just whoop. And you may take a break from the situation because you're like, this shit going to mess with my finances. Right? Yeah. I feel as though you're going to go head um, head first into um, taking some time out to rest, rejuvenate, contemplate, rethink, introspection again. Look, you're going into it too. Not hermit mode, though. I feel like you want to be mindful of your approach when it comes to situations from people from your past or feeling nostalgic feelings that come in and not wallowing in them, but just being, you know, where you need to be in order to do the work that needs to be done. Some of you will be taking some, uh, taking a break from work and, and trying to determine how much of a break you can take based on your finances, right? I also see here, let me put this main lady back in here. I also see here when you take time out to really um, think things through and, and think about where it is that you need to go and how you need to approach certain situations in your life because you are you're being very guarded, right? You're guarded with your ideas. You're guarded with your intuition. You set boundaries with spirit. But there's some um, strong intuitive insights coming in in the month of January when you really take time out to meditate, sit by some water, okay? Get out in some graves, okay? Touch five things with the five senses to ground yourself so that you can receive this insight, right? What are these financial constraints? Um, there's going to be a new approach to, okay, so what I'm seeing here is that the work that you've done in the past, you've completed certain things. There's a beautiful new beginning on the horizon for you. You don't see it yet. And that's why some of you may be in a space where you can't move forward. You don't have the mental clarity needed. This is the mental clarity. You can't move forward here until you have the mental clarity necessary for you to do so. You need more information, right? So there's a gathering here. I also feel like there's a strong gathering of ancestors in January. So many of you may have a strong connection to January and um, someone's angel versary here. May have been a strong, powerful leader of a woman, right? And she just bringing everybody together, whoever she is. But there is a need to, to face the truth in a certain situation before you can move forward, right? I also feel, <clears throat> yeah, when it comes to your finances here, you may have a number of um, income streams streams of income and two of them are panning out so it's time for you to look at things from a different perspective or you may be letting one of the um, income streams go and focusing on the others here because it's 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 either a live a asset or a liability one of these streams of income is a liability and you are finally seeing it for what it is i feel as though there's a lot of different um there will be a new budding resource find, uh, coming through. Budding resources. Resources. They want you to... Um, okay. So there may be a decision that you are um, wanting to make. You're tired of the place that you are in. Some of you live in um, homes that were built very long ago. And no matter how many times you paint the walls or strip the paint or whatever, it just seemed like it, it always looked old and outdated. So many of you are um, going to get the 
um, you don't have the money at the time that you want to do this painting or you want to do this some type of restoration to the, the found, not the foundation, but like the walls, y'all. Okay. Yeah. You're not seeing things clearly because you're not uh, using your intuition when it comes to your finances at that time. So you may want to do that here. Because what I'm seeing here is that with the um, energies that are coming through real strong, when you clear out your heart chakra and have more compassion with yourself and realize um, your connection, how this is um, having an effect on your finances, this is when you walk through the door of value. You walk through the door of value. Hmm? I feel as though there may be um, out of nowhere, right when you think that you, that's how it work, I be telling you. Calm down. You think you ain't got enough of something. You ain't got enough to do this. I ain't got enough to make this work. I ain't got nothing. Once you put an end to the way that you view money, the way that you view things, once you realize that you are a powerful sorcerer or sorceress, you walk through the door of value. With this door of value here today, this is um, giving you what it is that you need to make things right. Like some of you, your check will have been um, off for a while. This is helping you restructure and reorganize your finances here. This is an opportunity for you to really get the stability that you need walking through this door of value. It's like they're going to hand you this money or these resources, but then they're going to they gonna sit back like, let me see if Virgo going to stick with the plan. If, if Virgo going to look in the playbook and run the play. Because they, they quarterbacking right now. Hmm? They got the playbook. right? You have some insight but they're gonna run that to you right there so let's clarify some of these cards you're not seeing the truth in the situation here and it can't end, it, you can't bring something to a close until you um, really sit back and, and reflect some of you will be going over your finances and cannot believe that you spent so much in 2019 it's right here i'll probably be a virgo at that time like my as frugal how the hell I spent it and all like whatever. I've been wearing throwback clothes in these last few readings. Throwbacks. I'm like, I ain't let me see if I can still fit this. Move forward. Have time for it. Now. All right. When it comes to what you want. You may come to a space where there's conflicting or um, opposing ideas. There may be a space where you just feel like, oh, I'm not even going to worry about it. It's just all up in the earth. It's just this way. You know, you need to come on down. Stand in your truth, huh? Because you will reap the rewards in which you are working towards, honey. And with this, with this clarifying the magician, I really feel like once you ground yourself and um, like either you are reaching or someone else is reaching and trying to interfere, we ain't got time. So what I'm seeing here is that there's a new beginning that will occur once you really ground yourself and figure out what it is that you need to pay attention to, that's where that um, and uh, I feel like Ace of Swords comes through, right? Not that, uh, yeah, the Ace of Swords. A new approach to um, any type of conflict, a new approach to expressing yourself, communication again, a new approach to getting things done with little to no effort. Yep, and getting the Ten of Cups that you need, manifesting the life in which you want to live moving forward. I really feel that um, with this, you this is clarifying the magician, but this is a magician, right? This is also with that new beginning and with that um, you figuring out how to make things right. See, some of y'all ain't using. Okay, hold on. Refusing to see certain things. Refusing to give gratitude. Refusing to uh, be thankful to spirit. Refusing to be thankful to God. Refu whatever it is that you believe in, but I'm not here to impose my beliefs on nobody. But what I'm saying is there's a need for, there's going to be a dire need for reflection by the end of the month. So you won't get all head over heels and get to thinking like, oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm powerful in my own right. You ain't got no help. Whoever taught you how to manifest all this didn't help you. Spirit, universe, aliens, celestial beings. So it's refusing to see the truth in a certain situation on how things are acquired. I feel as though um, there is something growing. Some of you will be, um, your art is picking up. There's going to be, um, your art is picking up. You may have had some type of blocks when it comes to um, 
what you the, how you usually create but it's going to turn there's a lot of self a lot of um, boosting confidence a boosting self-esteem a boosting um your direction when it comes to what you really want to do how do you really want to do it how are you communicating this to yourself in the universe what are the conversations that you are having on a regular basis with different people um what are the things what is your intake that has to do with your being your ability to manifest here because things are about to turn around there may be some dreams or some something to do with um, some fish. It could be a Pisces. But I'm seeing here where um, there may be um, a, a, a new beginning or needing to see things from a, a, a clear heart chakra when it comes to um, your emotions or someone's emotions towards you. It could be a Leo overall, someone that you may have taken a break from and you just need to have a little more patience with them. Yeah, because you're coming... Um, into this space where you're ready but just because you feel ready doesn't mean that you are so you want to make sure it's not ego because with this hermit in reverse what i'm really feeling is like um you the, the use of the word may be why do i say this the use of the word using your magic or using something from a uh, from a not not so good space if it's you or someone else, someone isn't using their abilities from a not so good space. Um, seeing things from the wrong perspective and doing things to retaliate in the wrong way. It's right here. What goes around comes back around. Uh, she watch. All right. Better be mindful. Yep. May have to do with a water sign. But overall, what I'm seeing here is that. You want to be the more mature person in this situation in the month of um, January. I feel as though you will be around a lot of family and friends by the end of the month. But if you are in a space where you are not seeing things clearly, um, not being very open to um, the magic. Like, don't don't forget the magic of um, being able the ability to manifest um, things in your life. Don't forget the magic of being able to speak what you want and get what it is that um, get what it is that you desire. You know, here, let me get the words, y'all. Hold on. Don't be afraid. Try not to be afraid when it comes to seeing um, this newness that is coming in, because I feel like a lot of y'all. Um, are not really trusting your intuition a lot by the end of the month. And I feel like this may be someone who is vengeful, you know, in your energy, so you want to be mindful, okay? I know y'all don't do the work that I do, so y'all don't have to do as much of the, well, I guess you do, because some of y'all be around a lot of people, picking up a lot of energies. Um... But you will know when, when is when, and when you need to take your take a pull back, a break, and really get back in tune with your star player, your higher self. Because at the end of the day, what I'm seeing here is that whoever this is that is very vengeful, very um, negative, they're in, they're working from their lower nature, and they happen to know um, certain things, or they feel like they know, right? She don't usually say this to me, but what she's telling me today is that whoever she is, um, this may be someone that you work with. They still want you to have compassion for this person, but you ain't got to fuck with them. Okay, whatever. That's how you take the high road. Like, I, don't, I mean, I, I, look, you got the right to be where you at. That's part of your journey, but I'm not, you're not pulling me into that. Because I feel like there's someone outside of you that you uh, may have come out the dark about, and now you see them for who they are. But now that you see them, it's like once you see a person for who they are, they get, uh, this person is mad, Right? And they may try to communicate with you here because I feel like whoever this is, is someone who has been through a lot. They may be um, very intuitive, but they're not intuitive to the point where they're using it in the best interest of um, all involved, which is the collective. I feel as though um, you're going to get some type of insight regarding this person, right? Um, see how, okay, thank you. See how this um, beautiful, this is beautiful. I think them apples growing back there, right? This is someone who builds their life with poison. I don't know why I heard that, but we're going to keep it going. The po They've allowed this poison to really 
take over. The things that they've gone through, they've allowed it to um, put them in a very bitter space. And in this bitter space, I feel as though whatever it is that you have, they want it. They feel like they deserve what you have. They feel like they, um, they're going to reveal themselves, though. All you got to do is ask. They'll do it. Because also what I'm seeing here is that there may be, like, you may be deciding to finally get back back out and around people and out in public and this person reveals themselves. It's going to be on you, which road, how you um, handle the situation. Because she got the sword of justice in her hand. <laughs> All you hoes, thoughts can get cut. Okay, we're not violent on this channel. Moving forward. Ma'am. It can get violent, though. One way or another. Moving forward. It's getting dark. Y'all already know. I feel sorry for people that don't understand how this channel works. Because I will confuse shit out of some people, right? Now. You're going to have a time. This is you being um, exalted also. This is you getting your justice, your karmic justice from whoever this person is. This is things being set straight. That's what it is. Things being set straight, honey. Let me sit up. See, at night I get extra comfortable. My messages come through when I'm comfortable anyway. I would like to lay down and do these. I'm going to try it one day. Whatever. Y'all can't tell me I can't do that. Now, what is this community? Yeah, and some of you may be meeting someone new. Um, and when you're out with your friends, after taking a break, someone who wants to take care of you, someone who wants to do things right, but you may feel as though they are a liar. You may feel as though um, they are not someone that you would usually deal with. You would, it would take too much for you to deal with them, but it's only because you've been off to yourself for so long. You haven't met anyone like this in a, a very long time, and I feel as though you um, will want to try and um, reveal certain things Reveal, like, you, this person, when you see this person, you won't even put as well put together as you would like to be to meet someone. So you're not seeing it like that. You are not very um, enthused about the connection as well. But I'm also seeing here, there's a different way for me to see this. So that's for those of you going out. You're going to meet somebody. And it's going to be a strong connection, but you're going to feel like, <laughs> mm -mm. you're going to feel like they ain't got the money that they say they do. They all, um, they know how to say the right thing and all this, but you don't know. So you're going to take your time and, and move from a space of, I think your is line. And um, you may even try to um, turn it down because you want you don't you don't think that this is something for you and by doing so you're doing a an, 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 um, disservice to yourself now the other way that I'm seeing this is that um, you have a you have acquired a lot and so you have um, you are with you may be with someone who is very mature very um, well to do they know what they want very strong highly opinionated but I feel as though there may have been some things in the past that you don't know if you can get um, by um, with this person because you feel like they're hiding something and you're just waiting for it to be revealed I feel as though it's going to come out this is the coming out in this deck this is coming out like something is being revealed and it's going to be where it's right in your face there's no way around it right you're going to see the person for who they are and it's on you the direction that you take you may be in a space where you don't no longer want to um, they may knock a little fire out of you Virgo don't let them do that because in the upright um, she has everything that she needs and she knows it she moves forward um, very confidently because she's already her ships are already came this is three of ones her ships already came in right she's already very firm in the direction in which she is going she's very uh post well postured and well to do with her direction so she knows where she's going she got the tools that she needs to move forward she know where she's going but in the reverse she don't know if she can move forward with this person. Like, no, I don't think that this is it. I don't think this is right. But it's, I really feel like it's coming from um, a space of not letting the person show you. Right? I'm not going to be a Virgo at that time because I'm open to it a little bit. Not much. Now then. That's it. With that gathering of the ancestors by the end of the month, many of you need to make sure that you make your offerings. If you want to grow and expand, it's time for you to make your offerings to get into the root of your roots, blood of your blood, bone of your bone. Making sure that you are doing what it is so that you can continue to be rewarded as he has been with those roses all up in her. Connecting to your tree of life. So many of you will be doing a lot of ancestor work, connecting with the ancestors, strengthening up so that you can move forward. Strengthening up and um, gathering yourself so that you can travel. Um, this may even be that you are... Um, Doing some cross country. Well, I think cross country surfing, uh, cross country 
skin. I don't know what that is. But I do feel like you're going to be very, in this next stage in um, your life, you're going to take matters into your own hands because you know that you are supported here after taking some time out for yourself. Yeah, and then you will finally go into the space of introspection because you ain't got no choice. Then you will go deeper, deeper into, um, you go into the attic. Nose itching. You're going into the attic. It's time. Before you can even move forward the way that you want to and how you want to, the ancestors are taking you up. They set a little trap for your ass. You know what it is. And what they are doing is, they, you know how you set out a trap? Um, which, what kind of trap is that where when the animal um, steps into it, it pulls them up like this? Then pulled up into it, baby. Tried to avoid it so long, now you up in it. Hmm? what I told your daddy. <laughs> Moving forward, trying to be professional a little bit tonight. Because if it can get out of hand, I'm going to get loud. <sighs> I don't feel like it. Because I'll get too crunk. Now, in this introspection here, I really feel that um, there will be a lot of lucid dreams. There will be a lot of things that um, come to you in your sleep. So you want to go ahead and keep your journal ready. You want to go ahead and... Um, Oh, this is deep. At This is a lot of, okay, so some of you are going through a mystery school, and it may take you about three weeks before you are out of it. You may not know it, but you want to make sure that you call all parts of yourself back to yourself when you wake up, especially after this dream state that you will be going into because it's the recurring thing. It's like there are different things that you are going to learn before they'll um, cut, cut that um, rope so they'll let your ass down because they're not going to do it just because you want to. And once you, when you really get, um, come out of this pause for reflection, taking this time out to really realize what's good, where your next level is, okay, where are these, um, where will you be going, where will you be, what is the next destination? Hmm? Got to gather yourself, because some of you may be in this space, feeling manic, feeling as though you're being pulled in too many different directions, can't even control yourself, can't control um, your kids, can't control your husband, can't control nothing. Got to get it together because you can't move forward until you get it together, right? So that's what you're doing, packing and unpacking. All right. All right, Virgo, that is your January 2020 conversation. I don't know if I'm finna finish something tonight or not because now my nose is finna start itching like a motherfucker. Mm-mm.